Welcome, Algebra 2. This is 1, 5, Solving Inequalities. The essential question is, when writing an equation, what words indicate which inequalities? And use all four. Let's begin. So here's a table on inequalities. It's straight from the book. I, I, I think it's good, and I don't want to have to rewrite it. Hopefully you can see it. So we got four of them. Greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, and less than or equal to. The word sentences are right here, and here's how to graph. One thing you got to notice is when you have less than or greater than, you do an open circle at the at the dot. So these are at four. These open circles are at dot at at the four. When you have the or equal to parts, greater than or less than or equal to, you do a closed circle. This is a closed circle at four, and a closed circle at four. So if you have the extra stuff here, the or equal to. You have to put a black dot there because you have to or equal to 4. Because 4 is a valid answer and everything bigger than that. Or everything less than that. Alright. So, solving inequalities. So, we write them like equations. Except there's one change. And this is important. When you divide or multiply by a negative, reverse the sign. So, here's two examples of what I mean. When reversing the sign, you basically flip the sign. In this case, negative 3x is greater than 12. I want to isolate the x. I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. Negative 3, actually. But since I divide by negative, and this turns it to positive x, I must flip the sign to less than negative 4. Now, this is right. x is less than negative 4. On this one, negative y fifths is less than or equal to 20. I'm going to multiply by positive f negative 5, multiply by negative 5, and what happens is, you know what, I don't like that notation. Because that might get confusing. Okay, so we're going to multiply by negative 5. Hmm. I'm going to change up how I do that. Anyways, this cancels out the negatives and the denominator right there. I'm left with 5. Y greater than or equal to 20 times negative 5 is negative 100. So you've got to flip the signs, reverse the sign. You have to do that. So let's take this example. It's one of those word problems like the last section, but it's going to involve inequalities. Movie rental company offers two subscription plans. You can pay $36 a month and rent as many movies as desired, or you can pay $15 a month and $150 to rent each movie. How many movies must you rent in a month for the first plan to cost less than the second plan? So we got to create an inequality here. So the first thing I want to do is just like that last video. I want to look at my operations. What are going on here? Well, a movie rental conference, two subscription plans. So we're two things we're comparing here. You can pay $36 a month. So for the first plan, we're going to call this. You pay $36 a month and rent as movies as, as many as desired. So you have to 36, so I'm going to say that's straight 36 every month. Now, on the second case for operations, uh, fifteen dollars a month and one hundred one dollar fifty cent to rent each movie. So fifteen dollars, that's plus fifteen a month, plus every movie is going to be one fifty. So however many movies you do, it's going to be extra buck fifty. So that's one fifty times the number of movies. How many movies you rent a month for the first plan to cost less than the second? Okay, so those are my operations. Now the second step is we're looking for our unknowns, our variables. So you got to read that equation. Read the question. How many movies, go back to the start, a movie rental company, we have a month. So $36 a month. So one of my unknowns is, is it a month? Now, I, now so don't fall for that right away. Think about this and read this question. How many movies must you rent in a month? So we're only talking about one month in this case. So month is not an unknown. It's actually the number of days, or number of movies. Because how many movies is what we're trying to find. So we're going to say x is how many movies. So I'm going to say x equals movies. That's how many movies you rent. So define our unknown as movies you rent. All right, now we start looking on operations. So the first plan must cost less than the second plan. So I'm going to create an inequality right here. And the first plan is going to be on the left, so I'm going to label this first. And the second plan is going to be on the right, I'm going to label it second. 
We've got an inequality. Well, if the first plan has to cost less than the second, then we have an inequality like this. First is less than second. So on the first, I know I have pays $36 a month, so that's just 36. And it's less than, all my second, I pay $15, plus $1.50 times the number of movies, so $1.50 times x, or 150x. So there's my inequality. Now I can solve for x. So the first thing I do is I subtract 15 on both sides. So that cancels that, and I get 21, or a, not 21, I get 21. Let's erase that. I get 21 e is less than 150x, or 1.5x. Now my last step, so when I get x by itself, I'm going to divide by 1 and a half. So when you divide by 1 and a half, well, what's that come out to? Well, that's the same thing as going 15, dividing 210 by 15. So how many times that go in? That goes in one time. I'm carrying a 15. And that's going to be 6, 60. How many times that go in? 4. So that's actually come out to 14. So the number of movies that you must rent in a month has to be greater than 14. There's your answer. All right, always, sometimes, never. So inequalities work just like the always, sometimes, never of, in, of equalities. It's You have your always and never. Your always have to make sense, and your nevers have to not make sense. So let's, let's do an example to show what I mean. I'm going to distribute this so it's 10x minus 15 minus 7x is less than or equal to 3x plus 8. First step is combine like terms. 10x, 7x is going to be negative positive 3x minus 15 is less than or equal to 3x plus 8. I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. And those cancel out. What I'm left with is negative 15 is less than or equal to 8. Now, it's not like the equalities where we said, well, the left and right have to equal. This is inequalities. So is negative 15 less than or equal to 8? Yes, that is true. So this is always. Now let's look at the other side. So distribute the negative 2. I'm going to get negative 6x minus 2. It's greater than negative 6x plus 7. I'm going to add 6 to x to both sides. So 6x's will cancel. I get negative 2 is greater than 7. Was negative 2 greater than positive 7? No, that doesn't happen. So this is never, because that's just not true. Compound inequality. So sometimes we want to combine multiple inequalities. Now there's two cases here. If we say and, you only the overlap it only the overlap is what we graph. If there's an or, you put both together and you combine them. So here's what I mean. I have two inequalities here. Seven is less than two x plus one, and three x is less than or equal to eighteen. So I want to reduce both of these first. So I'm going to do that by subtracting 1 on both sides here. So I get 6 is less than 2x. Then I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. So I can get 3 is less than x. Over here, I'm going to divide by 3. So I'm going to get x is less than or equal to 6. I want to rewrite this, just flip it around, because I like having the x on the left-hand side. So x is greater than 3. x is less than or equal to 6. I'm going to graph both of these. So if I put my number line. I'll put 0 right there. I'm going to say 3 is right here. And x is greater than 3. That's going to happen. And we're just going to do this right above the line over here. So we're going to sketch it. It's going to open circle and greater than that way. Now, for x is less than or equal to 6, here's 6. And I'm going to do a sketch up here. And it's going to be a filled in circle. And less than goes to the left. So what's my combined area? Well, the overlap is right in here. So my graph on the number line. It's going to have an open circle at 3, a closed circle at 6, and a line going in between. So this is the compound inequality right here. Try some examples. So pause the video. 3, 2, 1. So a digital music service offers two subscription plans. The first has $9 membership and charges $1 per download. The second has a $25 membership and charges $0.50 cents per download. How many songs must you download in the second plan to cost less than the first? 
So I'm looking at my information and I say the first plan right here, well, we know that it has a plus $9 membership fee and then it goes $1 per song, so plus $1 a song. And for my second, we know this is going to be a $25, so that's plus 25 and it charges 50 cents per song. So when we're doing those, now we got to look at our unknowns here. So what's my unknowns? What am I asking to find? How many songs must I download? So my unknown is X, and it's going to be songs I download. So now I can create my equation. I'm going to put the set first subscription on the left and the second subscription on the right. So first of all, we got to look at the inequality. How much, how much must I download for the second plan to cost less than the first? So we want the second plan to cost less than the first, so the first is greater than the second. Well, on the first plan, you have $9 plus $1 per song, so it's plus 1x. On the second, you have $25 plus 50 cents per song, which goes 0.5x. So that's my inequality with a greater than sign. And now it's time to solve for x. So the first thing, I don't like having x on both sides. I'm going to subtract the smaller one. So 1 half x on both sides. So what happens there, oh, these don't all cancel. I'm left with half an x, and those cancel out. So it's 9 plus half an x is greater than 25. My next step, get rid of that 9. So subtract 9 on both sides. You're going to get 0.5x is greater than 16. Now I want to isolate that x, so I divide by 1 half, or actually, yeah, let's divide by 1 half. You can multiply by 2, but let's divide by 1 half. And so these are going to cancel out, and your x is going to be greater than 16 divided by 0.5, which is multiplying by 2, so 32. So how many songs must I download? More than 32. Next one. Example, is this... Okay, pause the video. Let's begin. All right, distribute on both sides first. So 8x minus 12 is less than 8x plus 8. First thing I do is I'm going to subtract 8x on both sides. So if I subtract 8x, they both cancel out, and I'm left with negative 12 is less than positive 8. Is that true? Yes, it is true. So it's going to be always, always. Last one. Pause the video. All right. Doing this. Distribute. So negative 6x plus 15 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 4. First step is going to combine like terms. So 5 plus 1 is going to be 16. So negative 6x plus 16 is greater than or equal to 4. Next step, I'm going to subtract 16 on both sides. If you do that, those 16s cancel out. I'm left with negative 6x is greater than or equal to negative 12. And my last step is I divide by negative 6, but when you divide by a negative, you must flip the sign. So x is less than or equal to negative, negative cancels, 2. So there's my solution. x is less than or equal to negative 2. If I wanted to graph this, I like putting 0, and 2 is going to be over here. It's going to be a filled in circle, and it's x is less than, so it's going this way. There's my graph. That's it.